The first test we're going to cover is a usability test. A usability test simply measures whether the navigation flow of a feature or a product is naturally intuitive to a user. Let me highlight this with an example. We created the sample app called the To-Do app to demonstrate how to do a usability test. The To-Do app is very basic. It has the following features, the current projects, archive projects, a timeline, and the notepad. The notepad is actually a prototype and it's the feature that we want to test the usability of. The first thing you have to do when setting up a usability test is determine the goal of that test. The goal of our usability test is to determine whether the prototype of the notepad feature is intuitive to our customers. Once you've set the goal, then you need to determine the tasks that the users need to complete to achieve that goal. In our example, the usability testing task is to add a note to the notepad. I'll explain in another video how to create a good usability task. This is such an important skill because if you write the usability task improperly, it will invalidate the test results. More specifically, in our example, while, we want the while the task we want the test respondents to complete is to add a note to the notepad, we can't actually ask them to do that. The reason is that the wording is too prescriptive. We're telling them exactly what we want them to do. Where we would be using the terminology that we use in the actual feature. Rather, we need to word the task from the user's point of view. The task should be worded asking the respondents to add comments to the current project. See, that's why we built the notepad feature in the beginning. Our customers were using the current project and saying, I want to add comments to the current project. So our solution was to add a notepad. But what we're actually doing is we're testing whether our solution is intuitive to solve that specific need of the customer. In addition to testing the task completion, we also need to test the common navigation paths that a customer must take to accomplish the task. In our example, we want to test if a user would intuitively, intuitively navigate to add a note on the notepad from the current projects, the archive project page, as well as the timeline page. One of the most common mistakes in usability testing is only testing from one navigation path. You need to run tests from multiple navigation paths to make sure finding that feature is intuitive to the user. If they can't find the feature, it doesn't matter how intuitive it is to actually achieve that task. Another common mistake is not testing navigation flows at all, and we see this all the time. Sometimes testers will actually start a usability test at the beginning of the feature. Well, in our example, that would mean testing, adding a note to the notepad by starting test respondents actually on the notepad page. This is a mistake because if a customer can't find the notepad page in the first place, then they certainly can't use the feature. So a proper usability test tests not only the ability to complete a task, but also the ability to navigate from common and multiple navigation paths to the page on the site where they actually do have to complete that task. 